Hi, this is Gina with your Kingdom Sewing Minute Clinic. Today's modern sewing machines often come with what's called an additional stitch plate or needle plate. And today I'm showing you our Janome Memory Craft 6700 and this machine comes with these two plates. So this is our standard plate and this is the wide zigzag opening. You'll see that we have a lot of room here for that needle to swing right and left to make our wide zigzag or decorative stitches. But oftentimes that wide opening can be a problem if we're sewing slippery or slinky fabrics, knits. Our fabric may want to jam down into that opening. So we have this alternative plate which you'll see has three holes in the center here. So we can put our needle in three different positions, but it's just a small hole so that the fabric won't go down into it. It also provides extra support for the stitches. So I'm going to put this plate on the machine. And you'll notice on this particular machine I have no screws. I can just snap the plate on. I'm also going to change out the foot. This is, a, this is our standard foot here. This is a straight stitch foot. So you'll see this foot also has just a single hole in the middle to provide more support for your fabrics and your stitching. So I'm going to put that foot on the machine. And I'm going to start off here with this is like a t-shirt knit fabric. And you're going to see this will give us a nice, nice control of the fabric, a nice straight stitch. And our fabric doesn't jam down into the machine. So if you look there, you'll see we've got a nice straight stitch. Look at the back side. No skip stitches, no loops. Let's try the same thing on our Lycra here. <coughs> so again, you'll see we've got a nice straight stitch. No looping or skips. And this can also be really handy if you're doing some quilt piecing. So this is just some quilting cotton. And you'll see again, it's going to give us a very precise straight stitch. You'll see how nice and straight that stitch looks. No little angles to it. All right, so straight stitch plate can be very handy for any of those times when you're going to be doing some straight stitching. Now I'd like to show you, it's also very helpful I find when I'm doing free motion stitching. So I'm going to take off that foot and I'm going to put on my free motion foot. And I'm going to drop my feed dogs. Now I, I did up a little sample here before we went on camera so you could see just some free motion stitching here. I did some swirls so that you can see what we call eyelashing. So you'll see here we've got a little bit. This is commonly what, m what more people will be seeing um, where we have our top thread coming down to the back side and our bobbin thread pulling really tight. So normally we would have to change our tension possibly by up to three numbers. Um, and so when we put on our straight stitch plate it's going to alleviate the need to adjust that tension so much. So I'm going to go ahead and put my presser foot down and we'll go ahead and give it a, a go. So I'm going to do these round shapes so that you can see we're not getting any of those eyelashes. So it looks good on top like the other one. The previous ones look great on the top. But now you'll see we've taken care of those little eyelashes on the back and we've got a nice consistent tension on the back. Um, and that's because of that straight stitch plate. So if your machine doesn't come with one of these straight stitch plates, um, they are available for most machines, um, you can always pick one up. You can also try that straight stitch foot if you're working on some of those um, clothing type fabrics. And you'll notice that your quarter inch foot also has that straight stitch opening. So oftentimes you'll want to use that in conjunction with your straight stitch plate. So this is Gina. This has been your Kingdom Sewing Minute Clinic.